So the next lecture in the series is entitled Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy. Certainly a topic that is near and dear to my heart, hopefully near and dear to your hearts as well. Um, as you're aware, hyperbaric oxygen therapy is certainly an adjunctive uh, or an advanced modality uh, to uh, a lot of the conditions that we manage uh, in the wound care clinic. And uh, we've decided to break it out and give it its own lecture title and its own lecture time um, rather than including it in the advanced modalities lecture simply because hyperbaric oxygen therapy is used so widely across wound care uh, centers in the country and uh, is an important part of wound care practice in many wound care centers. It's a subject that really deserves a little bit more time and attention than some of the other uh, advanced modalities that may not be uh, used as, uh, as often or as widespread as hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So in this lecture, we're going to start off by defining what hyperbaric oxygen therapy is. We're then going to give you a very brief historical perspective of the topic. We're going to go into some of the mechanisms uh, of hyperbaric oxygen therapy and oxygen therapy in general. We'll discuss some of the indications, the risks, the contraindications to hyperbaric oxygen therapy. We'll walk you through the supporting literature. And then finally, we're going to close with a, a segment that we like to call clinical correlations. And we're going to talk a little bit about the clinical applications and some clinical case studies uh, to support what we've presented to you um, in the way of mechanisms and supporting evidence of hyperbaric oxygen therapy to illustrate how this uh, modality can be used in clinical practice. This section, Clinical Correlations, uh, will be provided not only by myself, but then Tom Serena will follow with another lecture um, that will also uh, follow the same uh, path and uh, presentation style of clinical correlations. He's going to explain the role of hyperbaric oxygen therapy in a limb salvage program. So stay tuned to that, uh, that lecture uh, that'll follow this one. 